Hey, what's up dudes? It's me, Devin the Retro Gamer, and as you can see, we're doing another gaming news. I don't usually do these very often, but, uh, I'm like really tired right now, and I don't feel like doing a regular video, so I thought, hey, might as well do one of these, especially since there's a lot of news going on console-wise with, you know, next-gen and all that. So I guess we'll start with Xbox. The, uh, Xbox Scarlet and the PlayStation 5 have been announced. The Scarlet, um, you know, and the PS5 both claim to be the best systems, you know, graphics-wise and hardware-wise, even better than any of its competition. The Scarlet said that it won't have exclusive games, Microsoft did, for Scarlet, and mainly because it, most of their first early exclusives are going to be on Xbox One and Scarlet, which includes the new Halo game. And, you know, I guess I could see where that could be a good strategy for people that don't feel like switching systems, but you have to have the incentive to buy it, you know? And if you have no actual exclusives for your system, what's the point in switching at that point, you know? that That's kind of how I look at it, at least. You know, it feels just like another Xbox One modification to me, at least. Um, I guess in other news, PlayStation 5, so that it'll have, uh, you know, backwards compatibility with the, uh, you know, PlayStation 4, that's confirmed. PS1, PS2, and PS3, pretty iffy, because, like, they didn't announce anything about it, but in their conference, they, uh, they said that they have a lot more stuff that they'll add to it, so that's a possibility, but again, only a rumor. Um... They showed the logo off, stuff like that. They, uh, you know, showed some of the stuff. Like, the loading, instead of it being 8 seconds, it's like no seconds, apparently. It's got it's got a lot of cool stuff, I think, in my opinion. Uh, in other news, the, the Stadia is doing bad. Not to much surprise, because a lot of people, you know, realize that you can't really have a system that's just a streaming service because that doesn't work out. Now, it had promise, I'm sure, because, you know, it's Google and they have really good servers, but it didn't turn out. And apparently, sales that are assumed did really bad in the last, you know, couple of months it's been out. Uh, I think that's about it for gaming news. I just kind of wanted to talk about some of these announcements that they did, you know, just so you guys could get some sort of content. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it for gaming news. Oh, yeah, I got another big one. Uh, Little Big Planet. Um, there, there's a fan game for it coming out that's being made by, like, some indie dev. Or not even indie dev, but, like, just some fans. Because it's completely fan-made. Which you really need. I, it's called Little Big Planet Restitched. Um... I recommend you guys give them all the support you can because uh, it's a really good looking project and I'd recommend checking it out. It, it looked like a good game. I thought it'd be a pretty good thing to note in gaming news because Little Big Planet's kind of back, but not officially. Alrighty, for real though, that is going to be the end for gaming news. Have yourselves a good one and I'm tired. Uh, see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.